Welcome back to the Coffee Chat Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Today is going to be me, myself, and I, and I'm going to be talking about the five books that every business leader should read. Now, these are my personal favorites. These are the ones that help have helped me out. And the way that I read books is I listen to them. I use Audible. It's the best invention. So I go through books quickly, but what I do is I usually listen to them twice. There's some books that I listen to a lot more just to get everything, but I, I love to listen while I drive and it's the best way. So I'm going to be talking about five books and I'm going to give these five books out to somebody who's watching. So you have to go to YouTube in order to win this. So comment below on YouTube and subscribe and comment. I love the Coffee Chat podcast. Are you going to do it? Go to YouTube and comment below and I'm going to give away these five books and I'm pretty sure they're going to help you the way that they help help me out. So book number one that has helped me out is The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Um, this is a book on personal freedom and it's pretty much The Four Agreements. I have them right here for you is number one, have I haven't already memorized. Number one, have an impeccable a word. So the four chapters in this book, I'm going to give it to you real quick is have or be impeccable with your word. So pretty much whatever you're going to say, make sure you do it. That's going to set you free. Um, number two is don't take it personal. And this is great for businesses because you can implement this and everything you do business wise. So don't take it personal. A lot of times when we work here at the shop, when people complain, we take it personal. I have a lot of good friends of mine who work in the business industry. Whenever they get bad comments, whenever they get bad reviews, oh man, it can get you furious because you work hard for this. This is your business. This is what you do. And for somebody to come and tell you this is no bueno, ooh, that's the worst thing you can tell a business owner. But you know what? We have to learn to not take things personal. And then number three is don't make assumptions. So good right here. So when you have a staff, when you have people that work for you, you can't assume that they know everything. Something that has helped us here at Colados is to make signs. I put a couple of signs recently where it says, make sure you fold all the boxes in order before you throw it at the recycle bin. And you have no idea how many people, it's become a habit now. But it took a sign in order to communicate to them because we assumed everybody knew that you had to fold the boxes before you, you threw them in the recycle bin. But don't assume. You know, you, we have to, I call it dummy proof, the things that we do, you know, make sure you have the recipes done for everybody and you got to kind of treat everybody like a 12 year old, really explain, make sure they get it. And that's going to help you not assume. And number four, always do your best. And that's something that we should all do business, personal wise, everywhere. So that's the four agreements. Um, make sure you comment below so you can get it or you can win it. Uh, book number two is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This book was released in 1936. And I read this book or listen to it at least once a year. And every time I listen to it, I learn something new. This is the best book that you can ever read if you want to learn something about relationships. So this is crucial for people who have own businesses so they can know how to treat their customers and their employees. It says, um, a person's name is the sweetest sound. How many of you guys agree to that? When somebody says your name, um, right away you turn around like, who's calling me? So treat people when you call people, you know, say their name. They're going to enjoy it a lot better. It also talks about dealing with people. How not to make people feel bad when you correct them. So these little tips, I promise you, they're going to help you have a better relationship in your business and your personal life as well. The next book is Start With Why by Simon Sinek. This is a great book on purpose. For those who have a business, you got to start with your why. Why are you starting this business? Why are you doing what you do? What's the meaning behind it? And everything after that is going to come out a lot easier. So this is a very popular book. If you haven't read it, I super recommend it. Um, it's going to help you really put yourself in a perspective and in a spot where you can grow and really have a purpose. Because if you don't have a why, then you don't have a meaning. You don't have a reason why you're doing what you're doing. The next one is a pretty new book. It's called Ego is the Enemy. This helped me out so much. And this is a book on self-help. It's by Ryan Holiday. And it's just, it's just gold, guys. A lot of great things um, 
in this book. Um, this is a couple of things that I, that I have down is a fish thinks from the head. What does that mean? When somebody's ego, it's always going to come from the head or either from the, the head of the business or whoever's the owner. I, I love that analogy. Ego is like sweeping. How many times do you have to sweep in your house? Hopefully more than once a day. So it's constantly, you got to remind yourself that your ego is there, not to always think about yourself. Uh, a fool can learn from experience, but a wise person learns from others. So, so good. It reminds us that we're human beings and not human doings. So just be yourself. You know, be who you're, you're meant to be. And then the last one, I have a lot of notes from these books, but something I want to share with you guys is you're never as good as they say you are, and you're never as bad as they say you are. So this is a great book for self-help. And I think as business owners, it's sometimes our ego plays a big role in our business and how we treat the way we do things. Something that I admire from my dad is his ego, you know, he's always said, I don't want to just grow just for my ego. I want to take it slow. I want to enjoy the process. And this is very, very crucial in times like today. The last book that I have for you guys is Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by uh, Stephen Covey. I believe that's how you say it. But this book is on productivity. A um, couple of gems that I found from this book is uh, with people, slow is fast and fast is slow. So if you want to go fast with somebody, you got to take it slow. And I, I've learned this from when we hire new people that we just not, you know, usually when we, we in the past, sometimes we just let them in there and, and some people really pick it up. But we've seen that some people, need, you need to train them, you need to slowly and, and talk to them and really guide them. So we all learn differently, but with people, in order to go fast, you got to go slow. Next thing is five steps to delegate that I really love because I need to learn to delegate a lot more. First, you got to have a, a, a desired result. You got to have a guideline. You got to have resources, accountability, and then consequences. If you want to delegate, those are the five secrets that you need. And then this is probably the biggest quote that everybody always repeats from this book is seek first to understand and then to be understood these are just gems this is gold for anybody who is out there and i'm not a big reader it's hard for me to read but i encourage you to try audible try a, a reading a platform where you can listen to it try different things because when you read you're pretty much learning what it's like people thousands or not thousands uh it took years a decades for them to learn um just putting in the book you can learn it in a couple of days so this is today's podcast i hope you guys enjoy the books that i have for you guys and make sure you comment below and subscribe so you can get get a chance to win these books so i hope this was beneficial for you i hope you guys enjoy these podcasts stay tuned for a lot more we'll see you on the flip side thank you <laughs>